All right, guys, welcome back to another in-depth with pinball video. This is part two of the three-part series regarding the Tales from the Crypt pinball machine by Data East. In this video, we are going to discuss the rules and the scoring and the modes that are indicated in this manual. We're going to just do a quick overview, read through some of the rules here, well, through all of them, I guess. Uh, and then the second part of the video, I will demonstrate with the glass off on the game. How to start different modes and whatnot. So, just like a typical Sega manual, it's got the 1 800 kickers with the guy pulling the gremlins out front. You got Tails from the Crypt with the Crypt Keeper chopping through with the chainsaw. Pretty cool. This tells you the creature features here. Super Keeper targets shoot the Keeper eyeball targets for 1 million plus 1 million added for additional strikes. Thunderstorm shoot left and right ramps for 1 million. Each completion raises the next completion another million. Skull cracking shoot the captive ball to add additional balls into play. Door prize select one of the three doors shown on the visual display using the flipper buttons to pick the desired door to open. Open the door by using the Crypt Keeper door handle located on the front of the cabinet. Search as many doors as you can for point values and special features. If the player opens the door with a zombie behind it, the round is terminated and the player goes back to regular play. Frightmare Super Spin. Shoot any of the spinners and try to build up your 30 spins for Frightmare value of 25 million. Psycho Pops. Scoring 20 pop bumper scores. 25 million. So you hit the pop bumpers 20, 20 times when you're in Psycho Pops mode, you get 25 million points. Robbing the Crypt. Shoot the balls into the Crypt for 5 million per shot. Light Extra Ball. Lights Extra Ball shot on the playfield. Super Guillotine. Guillotine drop targets all start at 3 million. If the targets or targets are knocked down, the targets drop into the display. When the target resets, the next value is shown on the display for the next completion. Werewolf Countdown. This round starts at 30 million bonus at the left spinner. <laughs> this counts down until the player shoots the left spinner. The player will then be awarded remaining points. Video Mode. Player will interface with the display to help the Crypt Keeper defeat foes. Electric Chair. Player shoots the scoop to collect 1 million times the number of balls remaining in play. Electric Chair Multi Ball is the 6 ball multi ball mode in this game. Lit left A1 or right A3 spinner will light creature feature scoop. Any additional shots or shots will change the value to be collected at the scoop. So that will rotate around like I was saying in the first video. When the ball rolls through the right return lane, the scoop lights on a short timer only to collect the flashing creature feature. If the player has a creature feature lit and does not want to change it via the spinner, the player may lock the feature with the door handle. It can also be unlocked the same way. You just basically, if you're on... A certain creature feature you want to keep even if you hit the spinners you use the door handle press it down it'll make a doorbell sound and meaning that it's locked and you can hit the spinners all you want and it won't change the creature feature on you crypt jam when all creature features have been completed shooting the ball into the scoop starts a crypt jam six ball play one million per switch during multi ball Crypt Kicker, when lit, and the ball rolls through the left out lane, the ball will be kicked back into the play. Basically just saves the ball for you. Light Chop, when the ball rolls through the right return lane, the turbo pop bumpers are lit for 1 million per hit. Scared to Death, when the ball rolls out of the right out lane, the player is awarded a point value and loses the ball. Play the organ when flashing. Shoot the right ramp or the completion of bats, rats, ghosts, and goblins on the left ramp will start this round. As switches are being completed, musical notes will pass through the display. Each switch collects a note. Notes are worth 250,000. As notes pass through, they may be accompanied for higher display point values and or completion of other playfields, rounds, and other special features. Living Dead. One flashing shoot the right ramp or the completion of bats, rats, ghosts, and goblins on the left ramp will start this round. Each switch closure brings a zombie to life. Zombies are worth 250, 300, 350,000, etc. 
Chainsaw mode. When flashing, shoot the right ramp or the completion of bats, rats, ghosts, and goblins on the left ramp. We'll start this round. Switch closures. Run the chainsaw. Switches score 250,000 plus. Grave digger. When flashing, shoot the right ramp or the completion of bats, rats, ghosts, and goblins on the left ramp. We'll start this round. Switches help the digger dig down to the coffin. Switches score 250,000 plus. <sighs> bats. One million for shooting the ramp left ramp once. Rats. Two million for shooting the left ramp once. Ghosts. Three million for shooting the left ramp once. Goblins. Four million for shooting the left ramp once. And those are indicated in front of the left ramp by lights. Multi balls and jackpots. Shoot crypt to lower the tombstone for multi ball ready. Shoot the crypt to start multi ball. In multi ball, shoot the left ramp to collect the jackpot. Increase the jackpot by shooting the left spinner. After collecting the jackpot, the right ramp is worth double the jackpot. The double jackpot can also be increased by the right spinner. When the double jackpot is completed, the tombstone crypt is ready. Each letter completed adds a ball into play. When the crypt is completed, the tombstone drops down for the monster jackpot times the number of balls in play. Kill shot. During the lit drop target bank with the door handle located on the front of the cabinet awards 2 million times the number of balls in play. Clone. Shooting the captive ball target will award the player 5 million and add 1 million for additional shots and award features. Resets each ball to 5 million. And it tells you how to enter your high scores when you get them in. And is that it? All right, guys, I'm going to demonstrate how to go through the different modes, and you guys will get to see how to start the modes, how the scoring works, and everything else that we learned from that manual. So I'm going to go ahead and start a game. First, I'll show you how to start multi ball, the three ball multi ball way. We'll get into the creature features later, which includes the electric chair multi-ball, which is six ball. But for the, for the get-go, I'm going to show you how to start multi-ball. You do that by hitting this tombstone here with the ball a number of times to spell crypt. Normally the game will spot you a letter or two from the beginning. I think this spots you two. So I'll have to hit it three times in order to spell crypt. When that happens, the tombstone lowers down. This multi-ball light will flash here. Also, back here it'll flash. Right here there's one. You can either shoot the ball back through the spinner here to start multi-ball, or you can get it in through the tombstone that has lowered. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys now. <laughs> Your skill shot is, mine always hits in the center drop target, so your idea is to plunge the ball and have it hit the target that is lit. There's the skill shot. Okay, this game we are spotted with C in crypt, so we have to hit four times. This does take a good back. It does take a good hit to spell a letter on mine. You gotta really hit it good. There's Y. There's P. And there's T. Now this tombstone will lower. As you can see, multi balls lit. We'll go for this one. Now we're in traditional three ball, multi-ball mode. Your goal is to hit the left ramp. That gets you the jackpot and the really cool animation. Now double jackpot's lit.
Now crypt is flashing. You gotta hit and get the lights to stop flashing. You do that by hitting the tombstone. Each time we do, it punches a ball out onto the field. There we go, crit. So now, monster jackpot is flashing. Tombstone goes down. There's your monster jackpot, 100 million points. Now we're back to spell and crypt again. And once again, we get a shot at the monster jackpot. And you can just keep repeating this over and over again. I'm going to drain the balls here. Turn it up so you guys can hear some of the music a little bit. Creature features whip for thunderstorm. We'll go ahead and start that. Spinners build jackpot. You collect the jackpot at ramps. So each time we hit a spinner, jackpot goes up. This is a time mode. We'll go ahead and collect it. 13 million. Now we're out of time, so that mode's gonna end. Now we've got an extra ball lit. The way to cycle through these is with the spinners. As you can see, now we're electric chair multi ball. Say you wanted to lock that in, you just push the door handle. That is locked in now, it's blinking. And the spinner's no longer changing. It'll stay on electric chair as long as you have your ball. We'll go ahead and knock these other two drop targets down. We're on two times. Four times. Six times. Eight times. One million. And it just adds a million each time. We'll go ahead and collect Crazy Feature. This is the electric chair six ball multi ball. Your goal is to shoot all the balls into the scoop. your score that you get from the jackpot there. So we'll go ahead and complete this wheel here. We'll work on completing it. We're on skull cracking. Now the captive ball gives you 10 million points. And it has another ball. Ball. And you can 
to continue to just keep hitting this for points. 30 million points each hit. We'll go ahead and lose them. And it is time. However, if you have more than one ball out, even if your time runs out, you can still be collecting those points. All right, let's try. Let's try to the, uh, I'm gonna show you the chop poppers. Chop of the morning, Dad. Chop of the morning, shoot left orbit for chop pop popper. One million points per hit. That's what that does. There is a diverter that closes, so when the ball goes through here, the diverter closes, stops the ball from doing a full loop, which basically forces it up into the top over here. Start another creature feature. Shoot the left spinner to score the werewolf value. This value will slowly count down until zero. At the end of zero, you, your mode ends, you get nothing. But if you can hit this, the left uh, uh, spinner here, you collect the points that are on the screen at that time. And you're done the werewolf. Super Crypt Keep. Keeper scores millions. Hit all for Jackson. Your goal is to hit the six eyeballs to spell Keeper. Twenty-five million for spelling Keeper the first time. for doing that because it's basically impossible. So that pays off a ton. There's no way to get that good without doing it with your hand. Door prize. This is the video mode. Flippers left and right select the door. It starts you in the center door. We'll try opening this door. Press the right flipper and press the door handle. You get 15 million points. We'll try this one over here. That's the end of it. When you get the hangman, you're done. You can get as far as you want on that, as, as far as your luck goes. It's random all the time. You start Frightmare here. Five times spinners. So you basically got to spin the spinner 25 times. And you can spin this one over here too. It doesn't have to be the left one. This one even counts too, even though it's not flashing. There's 25 million just for doing that. Psycho pops. Psycho pop bumpers, 15 hits for 25 million. So basically, you gotta just hit the pop bumpers 15 times. Counts down here how many times you need. Three more hits needed. 25 million, right there it is. One million still for that. We'll go ahead and shoot the left ramp here. We're on goblins. It starts at rats. We already got that just by shooting this ramp so many times. We're on goblins now. Now it advanced to ghosts. And bats. Five bats advances right ramp. So as you can see, this isn't lit at all over here. None of these are lit. If I shoot it one more time. Now we're on living dead. So if I shoot this right ramp, 
which I missed. Roaring Living Dead. All targets are 250,000 points. Now we're set up for multi-ball again. I will show you how to add another ball during multi-ball. I did not show you that during the first If you hit the clone, tap the ball over here. It gives you another ball. And you can just keep doing this until you're up to six ball multi balls. So if you're down to your last two balls, you want to keep multi ball going fully. Hit that clone and you got another ball. All right, uh, let's let's do this right ramp here. Nothing's lit. Once you do that mode, the light goes out. because the game's not level, but it normally hits the center target. Now we got the living dead started. We're lit up. This is really impossible. Living dead again. It's time. There's your time running out. There's your points. All targets, 250,000. Shoot this left ramp a couple times. Back on Living Dead. We're going to go for chainsaw mode. All right. We are on chainsaw mode. Fast boring chainsaw. All targets 500,000. You got this cool animation here of the Santa Claus killer killing people with the chainsaw. That mode's done. Yeah, 
this, you must really get good at making this left ram. If you want to get anywhere, put the right one here. Oh, I just started it for no reason. I'm not sure why that happened. We'll go ahead and rob the crib. Start this creature feature. Shoot the crypt for robbing the crypt jackpot. So basically, just shoot the crypt once the tombstone goes down. 10 million points. Ten million points. Each time it spots a letter, it's encrypt. Twenty-five million. Since this isn't level, it's going to hit that left target probably. So I'm going to try for that. And it hits the middle. But you get the basic idea. shoot this right ramp you can keep advancing through these modes. See we're on chainsaw mode. We're not going to start that. Now we're on grave digger. We'll start that. If I can. This is really hard to do left handed. It's really hard to do right here. <laughs> Especially when the eyes in the way. Yeah. There we go. Grave digger. All targets are one million points. He's digging down the grave. And it's timed, of course. That mode is over. We've only got two left on the creature feature that aren't done yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the extra ball. Or no, we got three. We got extra ball, super guillotine targets, and light super crick keeper kicker. We'll do that, actually. There's not really much here to see. Super Crypt Keep Kicker lift for duration of ball. So that means no matter how many times your ball goes out that left out lane, it's going to save it. It'll just keep saving it no matter what until you lose the ball. Then your Super, super Crypt Kicker is ball. That's a mouthful. Anyway, we'll work towards. Play the organ mode. Actually, you know what? We'll lose this ball. That'll disable the super crit kick kicker. And it'll spot us on living dead. There, hit both targets. But we're on living dead. We gotta shoot this ramp 15 times.
Play the organ is lit. We'll do one more for good measure, just see what that does. It just starts all over again. Play the organ. All targets are two million. No notes flash on the screen like the manual said. So that makes you wonder, is that something they got rid of? I've never gotten that far in actual gameplay. It was the first time I've ever seen that. It said there was supposed to be notes flashing on the screen, which I didn't see. But anyway, let's go for the extra ball. Extra ball is lit. Shoot, so, shoot center spinner. And here, the center spinner. Get in there. There it is. You got another ball. And you got the extra ball. Of course, if you hit these targets here, you get points. Bunchy spell crypt or keeper. It gives you a bonus multiplier. One million. Each time you complete these, gives you a million points as usual. That just gives you points during normal play. There's a gate up there to stop it from doing a whole loop. But you can loop that way. And of course, since we've only got one creature feature, you can't change it. But you can still lock it. So we'll go ahead and start this one. Super guillotine targets. Shoot drop targets for lit guillotine value. So three million. Complete them all once, now we're on four million. Five million. And they don't have to be in succession, you can keep hitting the same one. It'll just go up. All the way up to seven million, it looks like. Can't go no higher than seven million. We made 85 million off of that. Not too bad. Now the creature feature wheel is flashing, as well as the collect creature feature, Good morning, and the scoop, so let's do that. Crypt Jam. Cool music. Even though your time runs out, you can stay in this mode apparently. So that's basically it. You just rack up. Each target is a million points. As long as you have more than one ball, you're staying in Crypt Jam. Still got two, so we're still in it. Let that go. We've got 89 targets, 89 points. 
Then you're back to regular play. Over here on this out lane, or this return lane, light mystery door, flashes one, two, three, four million points. Try it again. All right, number two, two million. So it's random awards each time. Four million. Three million. So the, the values are somewhat lower, but between three and four million seems to be the average here. Two million. Plus you get a million for completing all the targets. So that is that. Scared to death is an end of ball bonus. Three million points for having the ball go down the right out lane. That's your bonus. Over here where your uh, clone ball is. Two hits out of four. Oh, 25 out of 30 hits for 30 million. Since we've already got the extra ball, typically you got to hit this like three or four times, I think, and you'll get an extra ball just by doing that. But since we've already done that, we'll on hit it 30 times for 30 million. One more and we'll get it. You get a cool little animation there of him get his headshot ball. And we'll start multi-ball one more time. Which if you noticed, you cannot start from up here now. I just showed you that light's not lit, it won't do nothing. It has to be shot into the actual crib to start multi-ball. First time you can shoot either one, it doesn't matter. So the spinner increases the jackpot, increases that jackpot value. It's only the left one that increases it though. The right has the right the spinner doesn't increase it. So yeah, it went up. We'll collect it. All right. That's so cool. Now, let's get another ball. Double jackpot's ready. Let's increase that. You increase that with the right spinner over here. It's only the right spinner that increases it. See it going up the fast line overhead. And of course, to collect it. You can do it. Oh. Oh. Get up there, you son of a bitch. You motherfucker. <laughs> first switch. There you go. Double jackpot. And just like before, spell crypt by hitting it several times. Each time you hit it, adds a ball. And you really gotta laugh it hard. As you can see. Jackpot again. And you're 
back to Crypt. showed you everything with this game. It's a really cool game with some difficult to make shots. That's my only gripe about this game is some of the shots, well most of the shots, except for this left ramp, are pretty hard to make. Um, this right ramp is pretty tough. They don't give you much room this is a very narrow entryway to this ramp. This one's a lot wider, so you have a lot more error of margin to making that shot. And it's more of a natural progression to flip off of the right or even sometimes the left flipper and make that ramp. However, this, you really have to practice, 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 and even then it's still a brutal shot to make. Same with the captive ball. I've made it somewhat easier from the left flipper, it seems like, than the right. As you can see, there is maybe only an inch gap here for you to get. And you got to pretty much be on the dead center of that gap to hit the ball hard enough and in the right direction to force it back to right about here to where the actual target is that it hits. So if you hit over on the side, most of the energy is going to be absorbed by the bumper, so on with the left. So that's one you got to be really precise about. The keeper targets are not very easily hit with the flippers. I believe you could probably hit some of these from the right flipper, but 
these on the, the right side probably could be done, but shooting at these with the flippers is just asking to have the ball drain down one of the sides. So, a lot of the shots are hard. Even the scoop shot's hard because it's not straight to the flippers like the Adams Family Chair is. It's on an angle. So a lot of times you'll do, you know, you'll hit the edge of it and it'll bounce out or you'll hit this post. You almost have to like have it come in and hit this side and then bounce over. So it's, it's a tough shot. The same with the gravestone. Now you got this upper right flipper here, which makes hitting this somewhat easy and you can also sink it in there in the scooper in the scooper in the scoop you can also sink it in there sometimes with this upper right flipper but just a lot of the shots on this game are pretty difficult to make that is the one downside in my opinion if you're a really good professional pinball player and you want a challenge this would be a good one to test test your skills on it's gonna it's going to wear you out, I can guarantee you. It's A lot of the shots take a lot of getting used to. I will say that. Um, but the center, the center spinner target here, that's pretty easy to hit, actually. You can hit that from the left flipper, sometimes even the right flipper, and get it up here to get the start multi-ball mode or get the extra ball or what have you. It's not a very hard shot to make, as this one, the left spinner, is not hard. The right spinner isn't too bad either. Drop targets are pretty easy. The one big issue with this game and a lot of day East games is you get air balls. You hit these drop targets and the ball goes flying up into the glass or it'll fly up and I've had it fly up and land in on top of this ramp and then roll off. Um, very common with the day East games. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You got the ball save off to the left, which is nice because any help you can have with this game, the better. Uh, it does seem kind of harder to drain on this game down the center. It seems like the flippers are closer together for whatever reason. I don't know if that's a statistic or if that's just the way the game feels. But a lot of my drains on this game are on the out, either the out lanes, not down the center. Hey guys, thanks for watching this second part video of a three part series of the Tales from the Crypt Pinball Machine. In the third part video, I will do nothing but gameplay. I will have a camera showing the DMD and I will have a camera mounted on the playfield glass. And you will get to watch gameplay up close and personal, watch the animations on the screen, and see how bad I suck at pinball. So, especially on this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Please remember to like, rate, and subscribe. Have a good day. Oh, shit. Eh? Crank it up? A notch? The boner, the boner, the boner, the boner, the boner, the boner. The bonus counts as a boner. <laughs> this video is going to talk about this machine right here. Hey guys and welcome to an up close whoop kickers, a diverter gate. So guys, let's take a look at this cabinet and head on out down the road to the pinball place we never go. We're just going to pull it out, people. And somebody's head. There's somebody else's head peeping. Oh, shit.